Okay, we have an important story. Uh, hold on a second. Let me uh, turn this down a little bit. We have an important story. I'm going to dedicate, I have to dedicate five minutes, and I also would like um, uh, to invite Tom and Lori Anderson, Tom Lackavar Stewart and Lori Anderson back on the show tomorrow. And if we can get um, uh, a special guest uh, uh, that uh, is a, a victim of the system once again. But I bring them on right now to bring light to a very important breaking story uh, that has taken place. Lori Anderson, are you there? I'm going to introduce you first. Lady. I am. Ladies first. Right? I am. And Tom Lacavera <laughs> Stewart. Tom Lacavera Stewart, are you there? Yes, sir, I am. I'm okay, here. do me a favor. We have five minutes only, okay? So if you guys can get it out, and then tomorrow we're going to dig into this story. Tell us about what's going on right now that everyone needs to be aware of. Um, well, let me give you the first one, Dan. I'll let Lori take it from there because she's got a lot of the details. Jeremy Alcide uh, is... Uh, he was the creator of tactical firearms. Basically, this billionaire, millionaire maybe, uh, came along and basically told him a story that um, that he had been put in the business by a very rich man and he had been given an opportunity on the condition that he would pay it forward one day and set this man up. He was a very good-hearted man. To make a long story short, he extended himself and he, he did what this gentleman uh, asked him to do, and he was uh, very successful uh, with his personality and his input into the business, mm -hmm. uh, and and it, it made it something uh, very special. Now, when this man was supposed to be there to make certain financial uh, arrangements to keep it moving forward, he didn't show. He wouldn't. Uh, this is the millionaire. Wouldn't show. Wouldn't come around. Make a long story short, he ended up causing. Uh, Jeremy to be put in a situation where he had no choice but to be in a situation of bankruptcy. And he came in uh, after the fact, uh, after the vendors were screwed, after Jeremy extended himself, after basically uh, a recording exactly how what Jeremy did to make it all work so well. And he bought it, bought it all out for pennies on the dollar after causing him to go into bankruptcy and admitting in court that he intentionally did this. Uh, so that he could do this, uh, because apparently uh, these people think that just because it's legal to do it, that there doesn't have to be any sort of morality or ethics involved. Long story short, we end up in bankruptcy court where the judge then turns around and orders Jeremy to surrender his personal Facebook page. He had Tactical Firearms as the title in the page when he was a part of Tactical Firearms, uh, but he changed the, the, the title uh, back to Jeremy Alcide, entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. These are conversations, political commentaries, and private conversations between he and his uh, two different lawyers, uh, right. many different friends who have admitted that uh, uh, in repeated posts that, look, you know, uh, we're from different states. We never bought anything from you. It had absolutely nothing to do with. Uh, okay. your business we followed you we, because of what you had to say okay there now, you go. Now, Tom, listen we have we have like two minutes to go because we're going to have to wrap up we have a couple more things Lori, we're going to go through but here's, there. here's the deal this is what i'm going to do i'm going to go to Lori real quick and tomorrow okay. we're going to dedicate a full segment to this so be, okay. stay tuned this is a good teaser for tomorrow we're going to dig into this and i'm going to invite you both uh back on Lori. so what has happened to alcide uh right now what can you report what has happened to him Right now, he is sitting in jail uh, because he has refused to turn over his, his personal Facebook password. Um, he, is, he turned himself over yesterday, approximately 3 o'clock in the afternoon. He's being detained at 1200 Texas Avenue in Houston, Texas at the Federal Detention Center. Today, there are protests that started at 2 p.m. at the... Um, Federal Courthouse, which is at 515 Rusk, R-U-S-K Avenue in Houston, Texas. Um, long story short, there's violations of 1st, 4th, 5th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 13th, 14th, Section 1 Amendment. Um, it appears that possibly um, once he gets out and all is said and done, he might be able to have an investigation go for 18 U.S. 241 and 242 under color of law. The, um, the private Facebook also, it is a violation of his terms uh, and conditions on his Facebook. He does not have written permission from Facebook to transfer 
the passwords and that information. Mm -hmm. He also does not have um, that judge has also ordered that. And there is private messages between him and two attorneys, which is in violation of attorney client privilege. Right. Uh, this really needs to be visited because if this can be done to him, and he's standing for everybody right now, he really doesn't give a rip about the Facebook. It's a, it's the principle of the thing. Yeah, that's and right. And if it can be done to him, it can be done to anybody. So once again, we have an individual. We're going to conclude uh, this little segment and, of course, dig into it tomorrow if you guys can make yourselves available. We have an individual yeah. once again, once again, ladies and gentlemen, who is standing up for our rights and our principles. So what are we going to do? We're going to reciprocate and also give him support and bring light to these issues. Absolutely. So if you're in Texas. We we broke the story uh, on GMN, on GMN, before Fox, before InfoWars, before anyone. We had it posted to the GMN website Mm -hmm. on behalf of you. Oh, well, that, well, that's that's cool. And most importantly, it's not a matter of us. Yeah, not not to take away from that. Thank thank you very much for doing that, of course. But not to uh, take not to make us first in line, but to bring no, important. Yeah, bring important stories to the public. But the public needs to respond. If you're in Texas, you need to get to those protests. If you're in the general vicinity, it's weekend. Uh, it's a weekend time, so get in your car. Uh, go to that location. We have it posted up at our Guerrilla Media. Uh, Facebook page, and tomorrow we're going to dig into the store. So thanks to you guys. We'll talk to you tomorrow, okay? Yep. Awesome. You have a great day, Pete. Thank All right. you. All right, you too. Awesome. All right, listen, we got um, – 